Marconi's first ever year-round bourbon was an inspiration. It all had to work together. A blend of carefully selected ingredients, Texas-sized pot stills, and creative people determined to find the absolute best way to usher a new whiskey along. When you discover how it pairs with a meaningful moment, suddenly the feeling of drinking great whiskey becomes a whole lot more. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Whiskey Neat, spirited conversations with interesting people. I am your host, Christopher Hart. Now, so uh, today I sit down with Mark Normand. Mark Normand uh, just had a comedy special out, come out called uh, Out to Lunch on YouTube. Uh, Don't Be Yourself was a special before that. Mark Norman is a fantastic comedian, real punchy, quick one-liners. Great guy, uh, from what I can tell. And uh, Zahed Devji. Zahed was on last week. He's another local Houston comic. He's uh, featuring for Mark this, well, last weekend at the Houston Improv. And uh, yeah, we just hang out for a minute, have some whiskey, try some few things. I brought, I brought some old bottles that are fun. And um, yeah, check out his tour dates at marknorman.com. And of course, uh, Rogan's in town this week. Go check out uh, improvtx.com uh, slash Houston for your tickets. Uh, couldn't, couldn't be a bigger fan of comedy. So this is really cool to be able to sit down with Mark Norman. Uh, Ad Reads, as you know, Balconies is always one of our biggest sponsors. Uh, but Whiskey Neat is also seeing the return of one of our favorite sponsors, and that is Glass Rev Imports. Uh, Glass Rev Imports and Amroot Distilleries crafts one of the most award-winning Indian single malts to the exact same standards of scotch. Amroot Fusion also received the double gold blind and scored a jaw-dropping 96 points uh, by the judges at the Proof Awards. Amroot Single Malt Whiskey is widely available across America and can be found almost everywhere in Texas. Go out and get a bottle today. Check out Mark Norman's podcast, Tuesdays with Stories. It's him and Joe List, another uh, fantastic comedian. And without further ado, Mark Norman and Zahed Devji. Cheers. Uh, Mark. Ha! Hey. I'd shake your hand, but I don't know if we should. Yeah, uh, yeah there you go. Boom. Hey, just fist me. <laughs> okay, right <laughs> off the bat. Here we go. Yes. Uh, that joke's a little underdeveloped. <laughs> no, <just kidding. laughs> so we're, well, never yeah, mind. Yeah, well, never mind. Oh, boy. Uh, Zahed, thanks for coming back, man. Of course, I hear man. you guys killed it last night at the improv. Hot show, hot crowd. The first show was good. The second show was lights <laughs> out, as they say. Although I got yelled at by a, a lady, but, uh, you know, that's par for the anal. Par for the, yeah, well, especially in her line of work, from what I hear. She was an actress, yeah? Yeah. She yeah. was an actress. Well, that's uh, one an way to put it. Actress. An exotic actress. Nice. Uh, well, thanks so much for coming on. I know you've, uh, you got, you, I'm, I, I'm glad to be on the road again. As things have been kind of nuts. Sure, yeah. I hope people don't hate me for it, but I have a big nut <laughs> and I got to pay those bills, so I got to get out there. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, you're not the. First, I mean, we've the last couple of weeks have been crazy. Rogan's coming this week. Mm-hmm. He'll be in Houston at the Improv Friday. So I, th- I think people are ready to get out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, you throw the mask on. You, you do your part. But uh, I try to I try to assume it's all coming on me. I'm on a plane. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm yelling at an audience. I hope I'm – if I get sick, I'm fine with that. But I don't want to get anyone else sick. Mm. Sure, sure. You uh, – I think the, you've said this before, road comics. I mean, you guys are basically like walking rats. You know, sewer you, rats. Yeah, you guys, uh, <laughs> it, it, balls of disease. So. Yeah, yeah. As a kid, though, you're you know, you didn't you just play in dirt and lick weird shit. Remember licking nine volts? I, mean, <laughs> I feel like I grew up before the internet, so it was just you know, slingshots and going down by the river. I don't know why it turned Poking into dead Huck bodies Finn. And yeah, but yeah, 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 it was Huck Finn. And like, let me see your dick. I'll show you mine. That was <laughs> that was childhood. You yeah. lick it. You lick it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I figured you guys had a good night. You might as well celebrate and start off with a drink. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah so so I, know, I know Mark's uh, Mark's a famous whiskey guy. He's, uh, you talk about it quite a bit. You're a, bit, you're a big fan of the brown water. Yeah, yeah. I like the whiskey. I like the scotch. I like the burb. Scotch. Oh, yeah. Oof, Love really? Scotch. The peatier, the better. Oh, Dude, my gosh. You showed me about yeah. this last time. I was yeah. losing my we mind talk, with we this. We talked about it last week. So the peat. Finding peat out. Lafroy, Ardbeg, Lagavulin, those are my favorites. Mm. Uh, if you're a bourbon fan, I don't know how much bourbon you'd like, but... Not uh, too much. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it light. We'll just kill the uh, the hair of the uh, the jizz there. Hair of the jizz. <laughs> hair of the jizz. 
Yeah, bourbon. This is one of the best. Uh, oh EH's, my god! He eats Taylor Hunter Proof. Can't go wrong here. Crap. Crap. So this is bourbon. This is bourbon. What's okay. the difference between uh, bourbon and scotch? Yeah, I don't uh, know anything. Well, I, besides regionality, it has to do with with ingredients, right? The difference between a, a cake or a, a, a difference between a carrot cake and a and a good cake, right? Right, right, right. So mm. bourbon's made with corn and and wheat and and different grains, whereas gotcha. scotch is almost. Well, not always, but single malt scotch is usually 100% malted barley. So it's it's just ingredients. Gotcha. Either way, it's delicious. I heard that scotch isn't actually from Scotland. They claim that, but it's not true. Oh, yeah? I heard Ooh. it was invented in China. Really? That yes. Might, that might be the case. I know, I know how you're big on uh, fun facts. I love a fun fact. I tried <laughs> to find a few. Dolphins kill for fun. Fun fact. Do, do kill really? for fun? Yeah, for, yeah. Wow. That's Again, I've said this before, but... White people, you guys have all the dolphin facts. We love dolphins. I've never heard a black person ever tell me a fact about a dolphin. It's mm. never happened. A Chinese person never told me a fact about a dolphin. It's I've only gotten dolphin facts from white people. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so, we like dolphins. Putting it out there. They're always like, the genitals are the same. Really, I'm like, just fuck it. Yeah. You want to fuck it? Well, we, our <laughs> dream is to just go to SeaWorld and pet one. That's every white girl I grew up with had dolphins all over her trapper keeper. Lisa Frank made him famous. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah. Great. You're a 90. You're, you're a result of the 90s. 36. Sure. So you grew up right in the heart of, oh, yeah. of the Spice Girls and Ooh, yeah. Will Smith and that Big whole times. thing. 1994, yeah. Reservoir. No, uh, Shawshank Redemption, Pulp Fiction, Forrest Gump, mm -hmm. all in one year. Same thing happened in 1999. There was a changing of the guard of directors, and that's where you got Fight Club and Matrix. And uh, oh yeah, I've talked about that with uh, what's the guy's name that does all the quirky, fun, awesome stuff with Willem Dafoe with hotels. Oh and, uh, oh, uh, Will uh, right on the tip of Will, my tongue. Um, not Will Anderson. Wes, Wes, Anderson. Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson. Same thing. Wes Anderson got his break I in 1999. So there was like this changing of the guards. All these other like classic example. <laughs> sip, sip lightly. Sip lightly. <laughs> okay, this is. Well, last time we did it was Doozy. knocking him back. Well, you, no, were knocking him back. Uh, you were knocking him back. You were knocking him back. You're not supposed to knock You're him not back. Not supposed to. This is this is bourbon. He's like he's like let it rest in your mouth. Yeah. So last time what were you drinking? It. Scotch. Tequila. I started on tequila because Bert Kreischer told me it gives you no hangover. So that's I just such a bullshit. Over. Bert would say, it, it's all it all has to do with hydration. It has nothing to do mm. with it being poorly. I feel, I feel made. like I want to drink with you everywhere I go because you you like you're like a drink caddy. Well, if, avoid shots and avoid uh, sugar. So the cocktails will give you hangover. Yeah. But clean alcohol is clean alcohol. And all tequila, bourbon, rum, mm -hmm. it's ju it's distilled. So it's it's clean as clean gets. Gotcha. You're not going to get a hangover unless you're dehydrated and your body's aching. And, and, Look at you my know, body. I, that's, yeah. that's how my body runs. Yeah, we're you, hurting. Drink some water. Drink, drink you went through water. five bottles on Tuesday. They always say drink water. Water doesn't I cure it. it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you drink water beforehand. Ah. Yeah, so well, if like you're drinking it. water while you're drinking booze, mm -hmm. it's you you stave off. Uh, it's too hard to look. I mean, I need. I have the STD now. I'm trying to get rid of it, you know? I, the, I forgot to wear the condom already. <laughs> so now it's ibuprofen and hydration. All right. Maybe All some right. greasy food. or Oh, greasy food. That's. Uh, I do a hot, cold, hot coffee with a uh, cold beverage together. Mm. Ice cold hot, like an icy mm. hot for your throat. Yeah. So you just have to Fried taste chicken. the whiskey. You don't have to drink it all. Gotcha, but gotcha, once gotcha. your mouth acclimates that was to that. good. Uh, you can't if you're a Blanton's fan. Colonel H. Taylor, Ooh, same distillery. That is good. Really yeah, good, good, really good bourbon. Hard to find. Uh, I think they drop for like sixty bucks, but if you really, it's hard to get. So that, which one was this one? They trade for like one hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> a bottle. That's a nice bottle too. Yeah, Baldwin Bond. E. This H. is Taylor. a nice. It's a good. That's a good label. Yeah. So, fun fact for you: when using modern detergent, clothes are equally clean whether you use warm or cold water. Ah, Did you know that? No, but I. Most I, people always go hot water. Yeah, yeah you just feel waste. you feel like there's more with sure, hot cleanliness. Sign, yeah, Seinfeld. Wasn't Seinfeld had that great uh, dry cleaning joke? I don't know. Text him real quick. The way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Remember the dry cleaning? He's like uh, dry. Oh, dry dry cleaning. Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. where that's coming from. Right. He's like, you ever get something off with your fingernail? That's dry cleaning. <laughs> that's dry cleaning. Yeah, that's a classic. I love that. But yeah, you, you automatically think, you know, no one takes a cold shower and feels as good as when you take a hot shower. No. You take a hot shower. No. Like, I, uh, I got some stuff off. Yeah. So. so what tequila were you drinking last night? I don't know. Whatever the club gave me. I think we went, uh, I think we went. Don Julio La, or Patron or some. Uh, middle shelf Espelon, whatever okay. the middle one sure, is. Sure, sure. It's got to be clear, they say. Mm -hmm. And I, I drink that George Clooney tequila once, and that is not. I don't think it's good stuff. I don't want to shit on the Clune, but uh, I get the run. <laughs> I get the worst hangover, the, and it's clear. And I'm drinking water, and I still get 
bad hanging. So, so the oh, the clear thing's also an old wives' tale. Gah! It's just a barrel. It's That's, just a barrel's giving. It's just charcoal. It's this racist propaganda. It's racist liquids. propaganda. These brown liquids. They're, they're bullshit. I didn't mean to look at Zahid when I said that. I apologize. No, that's what I. That's <laughs> what I. I pee brown liquids. That doesn't. That wasn't funny. Why did I say that? <laughs> you shit brown liquid. There you go. Uh, for those who can see it off camera, we were getting the cork out of our old uh, bong pipe over here. Yeah, this, this is a <coughs> this is a sipper, right? That's a sipper. Okay. Now I like you can a sipper. You, you can mix it, but just sip it. Your mouth will get used to the heat. It's a hundred proof. So it's a little bit stronger than what you're used to. Yeah, this is heat. stronger, but it, it feels nice. Oh, it tastes fantastic too. Did you, do you want some, Brandon? Yeah. The you guys. Uh, so so uh, what's the order for tonight? You've got Zahed Youngblood or Youngblood Zahed, and then Youngblood is Zahed. hosting. He's featuring. Sure. And then, uh, then the man himself. Uh, yeah, Chappelle's dropping in. He's going to do uh, 20 <laughs> minutes of preaching. And sure. Then, uh, <laughs> exactly eight minutes and yeah. something seconds. And right, right. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> what's next on the, on the tour dates? Well, you know, it, you can't really get the cream of the crop now. Like, this is a great gig, this Houston Improv, and I did uh, Addison a couple weeks ago, uh, which is in Dallas. But next week is Greenville, North Carolina or South? It doesn't matter. It feels equally. like a north. Feels, feels like, like a north. north. The north will rise got the again. North vibe. The north vibe. And uh, <laughs> so that'll. I've never been to Greenville. I don't know anything about. Is it south? south. Ah, fuck. The south will rise. I hate lose. I hate losing a fifty-fifty. It hurts. It, it's it's so. It's just even. Anyways, I hear you. Even Steven, but look up Comedy Zone because there is a Greenville in both Carolinas, so it's a real cunt. But uh, that should be an interesting gig. And I'm getting a lot of guys with camouflage baseball hats going, I'm coming out, man. <laughs> so, hey, you know, who knows? I don't discrim. Charlotte, North Carolina for Comedy Zone. No, 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 no. Greenville. There's no. one there, too. This is how bad I am it with might uh, like, my it might be like Greensboro? Greensboro. Greensboro. Maybe that's it. But Maybe it's Green Comedy Zone. You Green, got Comedy Zone? Greenville, South Carolina. All right. There, there you go. go. You were right. We okay. got it. Just we got checking. it. Off camera mic, that's young Jamie over there. Jamie! Oh, just like Rogan. <laughs> no, that's Brandon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he's just like Rogan. We had uh, people just imagine a guy whose like, arms are too big, <laughs> breaking yeah. computer keyboard. Uh, Shop couldn't remember, uh, or I could, we couldn't remember Kathy Bates' name. And uh, he was pulling it up, and it f- felt very Rogan esque to have Callan and Shop arguing over something, and then mm. Brandon off camera pulling it up. Right. So. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't have to be clear. That's all bullshit. Just uh, Okay, good yeah, to know because yeah. I like the whisk, but I always want to go clear for the hang. Yeah, it's uh, it's just extremely – it's a diuretic. It's, it's going to drain you of all your precious yeah. nutrients and mm-hmm. make you do things you regret. Oh, yeah. It's all of it. That's any alcohol at that point for me. But, but how do we not have a cure? I mean, I've covered this in my act, but it's just like we got a cure for this, we got a cure for that. Can't we get a p- – I've tried all the chasers, all the pills, all the clean outs and whatnots and the liquids and the powders. Nothing works. Nothing works. I need to get a, a hangover cure when I wake up and just – the only mm-hmm. thing that works for me is Adderall. You got a bad hangover. Yeah. Just take an Adderall and you're <laughs> – Yeah, but the problem with that is like by the time like 5 p.m. hits, you're like – you're, oh yeah, you're just like a squirrel. Yeah, it's crazy. Just all wound up. That's how I am. I, I, Adderall's like it's good, but you got to have things to do. Right. If you don't have things to do. You're just like a crazy person. It's for true. Like walking around, everyone's like, but "What's the deal?" Didn't like, uh, Rogan yeah. say it's like meth or something? It's basically it it's basically meth. Well, it's clear meth, so there's no hangover. <laughs> you start taking apart the VCR, and, and that's shit. why you're the man in charge. That's why you're the feature <laughs> act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bad news, but it's also fun. Yeah, it is fun, especially at uh, especially at the end of the night. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I, I wanted to ask you, what's the? I know you've talked about being cooped up in New York and being being crammed in there. Two things: have you thought about coming to moving to LA or or, uh, or moving out of the city? Because I know you've talked about you said you feel like you're in a shoebox at times. You and I the old lady are, are beating each other. Yeah, yeah, it's getting tight in there. The walls are closing in, but I love the city. You know, you you sacrifice the the space for the city. I mean, if I go. We, me and my gal, we did a couple Airbnbs around town just so we didn't go insane. And we got to like upstate New York. We went to Jersey, went to here, here, Connecticut. And, uh, you know, yeah, the birds are chirping and there's plenty of square footage, but I'm miserable all day. I'm bored out of my mind. So I'd rather the, trade the small space for the city. For the activity. Yes. I like to activity. see people around. I don't want to talk to them. There's a guy shitting in his hands. There's a pigeon with AIDS. I like New York. <laughs> But uh, I lose it. Don't if, you want that on a shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pigeon with AIDS. Pigeon with AIDS. Just that whole rant in a, in a, 
Yeah, the uh, that shitty. sounds like if Randy Newman wrote a song for New York instead of L.A. Right. Imagine pitching that I to a T-shirt place. New York. I love Randy Newman. Guy yeah, shitting in his great. hand and a rat with AIDS or a bird with AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's uh, I, my only thing is uh, pulling my hair out, man. I've got four kids and there's oh. not much left for me you to pull four out. Four kids. Wow. Yeah, so, you have four kids. You're a year younger than me. You have four kids. Wow. I gotta leave the set. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm a homeowner too. <laughs> what? No homeowner. No the uh, the. Nice. Uh, the uh, yeah, uh, it was fun for like a week. I didn't have to do anything, and then I Rattles. hate everybody. I yeah, hate my yeah. wife. I hate my kids. I and you know nowadays you definitely don't act on it because it'll come out. Wow, I'm <laughs> it'll pro, end up on Twitter. <laughs> I'm pro-choice. I don't know how you do it. Four kids. Uh, you, you, I don't have aspirations for ever maybe kids? one day, but I'd like to be financially stable. I'd like to have a, an apartment bigger than a you know sardine Shoebox, can. Yeah. yeah so. where, where do you live in New York? The area, West so. Village. West Village. Give your address. Just give your that's address. A good, yeah. That's a good village. Great village. It's a, I've always wanted to live there it's like you know bob dylan and you know uh, dylan yeah. thomas and another guy named dylan the Greenwich. yes the greenwich village but good, uh, uh village. you know they know the neighborhood's great and they rape you on the rent yeah and the size uh fun fact charles darwin and abraham lincoln charles darwin have the exact same birthday same year same mm. day same everything mm. yeah, i heard fact. a great joke from uh, uh matthew broussard that uh I really want to meet that guy oh dude he wants to do the show i talked I, to him I, he really I've, wants to I've, do it since you came on all I, anyone I've asked, that guy's amazing. That guy's so funny. Yeah, I've had a. a, a he's great. He, funny he had this. Guy. He had this great joke where, he, uh, and he, I think it's maybe a new joke where he goes, I think if you, if you like ask, uh, I forgot how the setup is, which is the important part of a joke. So I'm glad I got that down. But he goes, uh, if you ask, like, I think it was a Abraham Lincoln quote where he goes, guys, I wore that hat one time. Ah, yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's so yeah, simple. It's so and somehow it became his whole thing. I love that. All right. What fun fact about Lincoln? He, he has a gay. bodyguard. He might be gay. He slept in the same bed as some dude, but I think that was normal back then. But uh, he had a bodyguard, and he said he had three dreams over three nights about getting assassinated. Then no way. the bodyguard said, don't go to the theater tonight. I, I got a bad feeling. And he said he told him goodbye, and he always said goodnight. And it was the first time he said goodbye, and he died. And that was the night he died. Yeah. So he Holy can't go to the theater. Sh- so he was in on it. That's what we, that's what ah. we would call nowadays an inside. Uh, he was regretting it and said, please don't go. I, I actually don't want you to die. And Interesting. Tip, wow. Tip his hat, is, uh, so to speak. Yeah. So uh, you like Four Roses? I think so. This is a can I, Where's the dump? Th- the yeah, right. Dump thing? And the, let's see. Here. Or am I drinking out of it? Yeah, you can. Uh, I think I'm. Pours are too I think big. I'm. Yeah, I think it's I'm okay. Wasted. I tell you what. Then why don't am we? Am I this? drinking out of the why dump? Why don't we make this your thing? glass? You can be bougie as fuck, and this will be the dump glass. Uh, the old dump yeah. cup. Right. Give Thanks. us that then. Yeah, that'll be great. So that'll be the dump glass. Dumps like a cup. Mm-hmm. This is an old pick we did for the sh- uh, for my here? festival. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little self. Uh, oh, you did that. Self promotion. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Even so, though, like a Confederate soldier. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what, the, that's what we were going for. Yeah. So and then uh, let me get Zahid <laughs> covered here. Yeah, got to take Brandon care of. Oh, get so, for that. I like know. In, uh, turpentine. <laughs> there's, there, there's some of these, there's some of these take bottles light. and stuff where I've, where I've smelled it and it, yeah, it'll, it, it really it's like wasabi. Yes, <laughs> wasabi. But by segment two, you'll be like, this smells amazing. <laughs> you just gotta get the, get the gears going. Also, it, uh, it kind of uh, took the, uh, the, the rust off of last night a little it bit. It helps. Yeah, yeah. Is your back still hurting you? Yeah, but it's it's uh it's just sitting back down getting up. You it's like not cigars? Like, not crazy. I, I do like smoking. That hurts from uh, carrying the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or that woman out. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Yeah, this is a real tobacco bomb to me. It's good. It, it, it tastes like – it's going to sound bad. It's a compliment. It tastes like is, cigarettes. Ah, great. Which one is this? I taste like, like cigarettes. like my ex. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to fuck Mark. Uh, yeah, uh, it's this one here. Oh, the cool. one with my face Four on the side roses. of it. What, uh, how long have you and the, you guys <laughs> talking wedding bells? <laughs> Good stuff. You should do hot ones, by the way. Have you talk, oh, uh, I would love to do hot ones. Yeah, yeah. You'd that be would great be, on that. I would love it. You would be really I great. I love yeah. spicy food. Your reaction you really? would be right oh, off yeah. the charts. You like spicy food? Oh, I love spicy. Yeah. I'm Indian, so. Are you really? Well, yeah. I thought you were Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put the mustache on. That's, that's actually <laughs> why. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, I love. love Ooh, this is heavy duty. So, just take it light. Just take little sips. It's all about you just tasting it, kind of <laughs> lubing it going. You don't have to swallow right away. That's usually the let your mouth adjust. So wow. that's what they say. Oh, it's the it's the 
I have really yeah. bad acid indigestion. If you, if you like leave it bad, in your mouth long enough, oh, you gotta do You'll that. start salivating, mm. and it'll help when you swallow. Ooh. It's like at, you're saying like it's like adding water to the whiskey, except your mouth is providing Pun- it. Punish your mouth first, and then it'll also get your mouth used to drinking something so high proof. This is a little higher. This is fifty six point eight percent. So it's a. I imagine this is what you more say. More alcohol when, in this than this. I wow. imagine this is what you say when you fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Put, leave it in the mouth leave a little bit. Mouth. Yeah, yeah, Salivate. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Stop this, chewing it. This will ruin a breathalyzer. Like this Oof. is fire. Yeah. Oh yeah, fire well, water. We, oh, you're not supposed to breathalyze for 20 minutes. You know that? We talked about this last night. 20 uh, minutes after you drink. About uh, uh, when it hits and if someone. Brandon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, yeah. how much pr- proof is this? Uh, so this is 100 proof. So 50 percent alcohol. Okay. This is 56.8. So this is gotcha. 100 and tw- 113. And gotcha, change. gotcha, gotcha. So yes, once you, <laughs> if you get pulled over on a scooter, right? Wait 20 minutes before blowing. Otherwise, you're going to go straight to jail because it's going to make it, yeah, it's going to ruin it. Off the Speaking chart. of scooters, remember the uh, Hawaii uh, oh. horrific? The rainfall. Dude. That one was of the, bananas. One of the... <laughs> we did the Hawaii Comedy <laughs> Festival in Honolulu before Corona. I didn't realize y'all did that together. Oh, I yeah. I remember seeing your posts. Yeah. We yeah, we had a great a, time. Great time. And we rented scooters on the last day, or my last day, and we went to Pearl Harbor. But the ride there, we got hit by a monsoon. So we're just like, eh, just fucking poor. You can't even see in front it of you. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. You're going and it like, was hitting your head? Dude, yeah. You're going like 40 miles an hour. You get like raindrops hitting your face. Mm-hmm. And you're just like. Yeah. You, you're, you feel like you got divorced. It just, everything is. <laughs> right. Everything is exfoliated. Dude. Yeah. And then, uh, well, we met up. Like, I lost you guys at one point. Oh, I was, yeah. We had to pull and, over. And I, and I caught up with you. And then uh, we went to the beach. And, uh. It had felt like we had gone through the whole laundry cycle because we went right, from like right. rinse to dry. Like you're like dry in like 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, like my ex. But, but uh, <laughs> in 40 minutes, that's, that's hey, at good. that point, it's her fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, then we jumped uh, off that rock. Then we had dinner. Then we went to Pearl Harbor. It was, it was a beautiful day, dude. It's crazy. Day, yeah, we were talking about how what, it was a great hur- last hurrah comedy was. Totally, totally. Before the whole uh, before AIDS the whole kicked world, in. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bad AIDS. Um, the we talked about this a little bit on the way here, but I wanted to get your perspective of uh, now that you and, and I know you've got a piece of this as well. Mm-hmm. You are in comedy. You start meeting, you start selling tickets. You start meeting bigger names. You start becoming friends with Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, Acquaintance. Acqu- yeah, yeah. You guys have hung out. Do that. You got his. You, I to bring yeah, it down. you always have to bring it down a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, you I can never take too much. Does that? You would think that it would relax your anxiety a little bit, but does it add to it? The anxiety of like, should I text him? Should I not text him? He yes, has, of course. The last three times we texted, it was me that initiated the text. It's a. It's a weird. It's it's the same. I bring this up all the time, but it's the same as like a beautiful woman or a girl you're like really into. Mm-hmm. If you just go up and you know you have a few beers, you just go up and talk to somebody that you're into. It goes fine, but if you contemplate and stew in it, it's going to be horrible. Yeah. And it's the same thing with a guy like Seinfeld, where I'm like, oh, I'll delete, delete, I'll rewrite, rewrite, that's not funny enough, but am I being too funny? Am I being too on? If you just put the fucking thing out there, it's fine. And that's how you got to live your life. And Bert talked about that with Rogan. He said for a long time he just would forget that, oh, I'm, we're actually like friends. Like you it's forget. weird. You weird that we're friends. Is there, is there still anyone that you see pretty regularly that, that you're, I wouldn't say starstruck, but nervous around? Oh yeah, I mean I'm I'm nervous around uh, this guy, Brandon. you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous around everybody. Everybody, but you're a nervous guy, just normally. Just a nervous, neurotic guy. Does he hate me? Was that a stupid thing to I say? I didn't realize that until uh, like everyone has that like whole like we all have anxiety right now. I have like a really bad nail biting problem. Uh, wow! Did, yeah. Wow! Holy Jeez. shit! I know. You're like Amistad. Once, I once you're <laughs> <laughs> been clawing away at the boat. <laughs> fingers. Yeah. By the way, Amistad was a, if you don't know, it was a show where uh, uh, this guy just uh, bit his nails on a boat. Yeah, yeah it was Devito, right? Danny Devito. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Devito and yeah, yeah. Amistad. Yeah, rum ham. Yeah, 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 fucking. <laughs> But I had this. I had I had some small uh, white little lady that I was trying to uh, bank told me told me that one time. She's like, "You have you have anxiety." And I was like, "I don't have anxiety." Blah. Yeah. She's like, she, "Look at your hands." She's like, "You you always smoke cigarettes and you're uh, you don't have any nails." And you then feel, everybody copes a different way. And the first time I was like, "Ah shit." Because you don't want to be the thing that everyone is, you know. And everyone's right. doing the whole like, yeah, I don't want any weaknesses. Some people yeah. actually have it. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like some people sure. are like coming out to like, I'm gay. I'm like, you're not gay. Yeah. Right, right. Well, they're just trying to do hey, it. We've to, all liked, uh, <laughs> we've all seen some things. Right? Yeah. I still I, st- I still think that some people just want to get on whatever the trend is. I completely agree. I just want to hop on the boat. It could yeah. be anxiety. Uh, Molested. It's anything. Yeah, anything. You just well, want to be the, I'm also here. Right, you're just, right. You just, uh, also reward victimhood. It, yeah. it, it's an identifier, right? People like to associate with the fact that I am this. Yes. Right? This defines me. Yes. And I, and I always want to stay away from it. I was like, I don't have anxiety. Always. I'm not gay. I'm not I was not diagnosed black. with AD and D right. or ADHD as a kid. Yeah. I refused to take my riddle and I was like, no, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. Right. Yeah. And it uh, turns out I was fine. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I, we do it with everything. Like, we'll take a 23 and me and be like, come on, Native American, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 man. 3% black? Yeah, I'll yes. take it. Yes. Askenazi, whatever that means. Great overalls. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, we all want it. It's fun. Gives you a little hook. But it's funny because when I was a kid, you hid all that shit. And now you get it out quick. Yes. Like, please, please. I'm working on a bit about this. I but. literally just texted Andrew this. I was like, you know, when I grew up, uh, you were you were gay and you, you everyone resented you for not coming out. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> now you're like, I'm gay. Yeah. You're like two years old. Like, hey. You're I'm, excited. I'm better than you. I'm gay. You know? <laughs> yeah. There's a, it, I do think there, uh, and let, let me be clear, I do think that there are people who- No, that's your who, skin color. It's clear. Who, who, yeah, absolutely. I do think there are people who are gay, but I also think there's a spectrum of, of uh, you know, you, you growing up during your formative years, you don't know where you belong, right? right, totally. right. I mean, we all went through like a skateboarding phase, oh yeah, or a uh, a band phase, sure, right? you know, my, black my, face my, phase. We all did it, one hundred percent, barely. 100%. I played the bass for a little bit, you know, and then that <laughs> defines you. You're like, oh, you're a bass player, you yeah, know? yeah. Uh, you, you're all looking for just that thing that makes you who you are instead totally. of just being who you are. At yeah. what point did you become Dilbert? <laughs> <laughs> Pull up a picture of Dilbert. I don't look, look exactly like Dilbert. I don't look like Dilbert. If, if he, Pull well, up Dilbert. If he had the... a beard. If he had a beard. <laughs> and and uh, see-through skin? Oh, I guess he's... That don't look like Dilbert. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, okay. I take it all back. I mean, it's Sorry. not too far. It's not too... I mean... I was... Uh, I was... Uh, I had a, a conversation with a friend that I hadn't talked to in a couple of months during uh, quarantine. And uh, I think with comedy, I don't know if you go through this. And we all go through it at some point, depending on whatever field you work in. But I, I was starting to, th- to think that in comedy, uh, a lot of my relationships with people had been based off of comedy. And I didn't have a lot of sincerity in my relationships. Or substance beyond that. So when you're, when you're talking about like Seinfeld, uh, even like working uh, with you or, like, uh, any, or any headliner of, or... or it's always come down to I was like in the past you're always like oh I'm I'm in and you're like in work comedy mode sure, so then sure. this like human aspect gets taken out and then for the first time I was like just be a guy just just be a guy and just be sincere with uh, intentions and, uh, and they're having thoughts too they're having anxiety and insecurities sure. as well but we yeah. all think it's just us yeah we're all human like yeah exactly like try to try to get the the, the people part better and yes. then the rest will always uh, fall into place I completely agree and that kind of came to me during the during the old teen but we're guarded we're guarded because yeah. you know, we've been hurt or our parents are shitty or totally. you know you got finger fucked or whatever it is so you're always kind of like can I open up? Sure. I had a yeah. guy, I'm not going to say his name, but he's a pretty, ah, say his name. pretty famous it's like comic. like six people that listen to this. What's it rhyme with? <laughs> Cosby? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he said, uh, you know, we, we're cool. We've always hung out, but I've never gotten any like emotional connection with you. And I was sure. in my head, I was like, yeah, you're welcome. Like, I thought I was trying to be, I'm not going to put my baggage on you. Sure. Because yeah. there's nothing worse than the guy who goes too far the other way where he's gotcha. like, this sucks, I'm my, uh, you know, oh, my dad's gay, uh, whatever. I like, 100% right, agree. Just say hello. The, o- the overshare? The, yeah, overshare? the overshare. As soon as you meet them, they it's talk about thing. how they've got, uh, I've I, got arthritis and, yes, uh, you know, I, can't I was molested or like, you know, right. there's so much details to their life. I'm like, hey man, can we just be friends first before yes. we... Yeah, it's got to it's got to be stepwise and, and uh, right. natural. And again, right. what you said, I feel it's got to feel right. It's, it's got to feel not fucking weird. It's got to yeah. be natural. Yeah. And some people use that sympathy connection thing to get closer to you. I, I'm like, yes. it wasn't warranted yet. I get opening Dude. up, but it wasn't. You, you went too hard, too quick. Yeah. Well, everyone. In the interview, I like forget if it was. Yeah. It was I forget, dry. Forget yeah. if it was the first. <laughs> the dry heat it is the, we have a vaudeville act we yeah, actually I saw that I saw that it's called hot and cold <laughs> call back if All there right. was a uh, whether it was your first Rogan interview or your second Rogan interview you talked about how you you were having trouble even just looking at him in the eyes well I can't do that with anybody right. I like the mailman in the eyes he's got Which, fucking sunglasses on yeah. I know I know and I, and I feel like I 
I'm I'm looking at them in general. I'm not really looking for your eyes, uh, and I could just already imagine you like looking away. But you talk about in that episode that you 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 were in a relationship for 12 years. Yeah, 12 how, years. How do you pull off 12 years when you don't look at each other? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of reverse cowgirl. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of doggy style. No one no. ever goes regular cowgirl. You ever realize that? I guess that'd be the chick on top. Yeah. Yeah, we should call that cowgirl. Yeah. Why do we have na- uh, names? Were cool when you were fourteen. You remember when you were like, dude? Have you ever heard of the Houdini? Shrimping we were last night, <laughs> or or the yeah, the Houdini. Yeah, yeah you ever yeah. gone shrimping? There's yeah. always some name. There's like, some name that you have yeah. to look up thanks to yeah. Urban Dictionary. You ever yeah. try anal? Like yeah, we. No, no. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how you start, right? That's, that's, that's how you stay a virgin. That's not a name. Yeah, it we really. Yeah, I grew up Pentecostal and oh, um, God's hole. Yeah, in Louisiana, there's a. <laughs> God's hole. That was the name of his church. The butthole. The butthole is God's hole. Uh, yeah, no, there, there was a there. There was this trend where we'd see people at church would not do vaginal sex; they would do butt sex. Yeah. Vaginal sex is the uh, dr- is the worst phrase I've ever heard in my life. Vaginal sex. Uh, I, I disagree. Yeah. You know what the worst phrase is? Oh, worst yeah. two words ever to be put together is retarded ejaculation. Ooh, I disagree. Those that, might be the best. <laughs> that's a great <laughs> punk band, by the way. That was. Uh, <laughs> My first ever Isn't it four bass players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my first ever open mic. I told the story of me going in for a consult, and my urologist was from Britain. And over there, delayed ejaculation they refer to as retarded ah, ejaculation because wow. you retard the process. Yes, it puts it off, right? So, and sometimes when you have a vasectomy, uh, you you have trouble completing the show. Oh, gotcha. And, I thought and, this when you ejaculate, you can't pronounce your R's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Something like that. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, best two words ever put together. So a uh, couple things. We've got the 1975 Wild Turkey 8101. This is a great bottle. I got to open this with Senior Dolph Lundgren. Whoa. So, yeah. Isn't that mind-blowing? So Whoa. I th- thought it would be cool. He loved it. I Whoa. thought it would be a fun bottle. You know, I, he has a Ph.D., Yes. Uh, Why do you well, know that? No, no, no. He doesn't have a PhD. He's got a master's <sighs> from. Uh, Why do you know that? He's got a master. Well, okay, I interviewed him. Um, a master's oh, from uh, right. MIT. I feel very. Stupid. He's a master's wow. of chemical engineering, I think. God. Because you think good-looking guy, muscular guy, action movie. You would sure. never think this guy's a fucking scholar. Yeah, uh, he kind of got grouped into the dumb. Sylvester Schwarzenegger sure. shoot 'em ups. Yeah, when you're like kind of a meatheady looking guy, people would just assume that there's a. Uh, you know, there's we just, nothing there. We go back to our the stereotypes for not race or gender, but just Oops. silhouettes. Yeah, we, we do it with everybody. We don't look like, we don't go. Oh, scientist probably has muscles. It's no, not, we, yeah. Right. Well, when you're in great shape and in yeah. your 60s, I think he's in his 60s. Oh, sorry, dump dump glass. Which one's the dump oh, glass? Oh, he looks again? fantastic. Six foot three. That's gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, he's a hunk. He, do his arms? My wife, <laughs> my wife was there. My wife. And I was like, hey, I, have to do I don't it. want to put my arms next to him in a photo. No, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The size of my legs, probably. Dude, probably he's bigger. ridiculous. His forearms, too? Jesus wow. Christ. Still. Still, yeah, yeah. Rocky Four. Well, he was just in Aquaman. I mean, he's... he's really? Yeah. We talked about this last time. I was blown away when he told me this. Yeah, yeah. T- today, in today's Bourbon world, uh, wild turkey's very well respected, even now, even though it's like your college drinks. You mm-hmm. know, everybody loves a good wild turkey. Gotcha. But 70s wild turkey goes for big money. Uh, they, it fluctuates on uh, auction sites and stuff, but you can get them as high as $800. Wow. Some some of the bigger bottles, $1,200. I mean, it get crazy. pretty crazy, but uh, they're just it was just really good bourbon back then. Not enough people this drink This tastes it. great. I'm kind of a visual guy, and, and uh, I love like the label and the bottle and the whole presentation it's so cool because if you look at the top font like someone had to draw that yeah yeah it looks like a stencil you know like now you go on photoshop and everything's all like done for you it's not the original cork the whole thing just is is the first thing that when that fell apart the corks just eat away over time Ah. so you've got these little time capsules so cool looking of uh 75 there was that 25 plus another 20 it just feels personal 45 years in the bottle that's amazing wow this is older than star wars yeah. yeah. Isn't that wild? 1975. It is wow. wild. It's on the label. Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a, you're always in that. You guys are the I same know. person, just slightly different Dude, colors. We, we talked about this last night because, I uh, again, I've said this before, like, comparisons and all this stuff, but I was like, I think it's just the... Uh, Indian. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, going for the joke. It's just, uh, just the, the one, the little zingers, just yeah. always, always in the room. <laughs> have you, play. have you thought about telling stories at all? I know you thought about it. I just don't have the uh, courage. I don't have the attention span. I assume I, I have a twelve-second joke, and I assume they're bored for those yeah. twelve seconds until the punchline hits. So, so it's, stories are tough. Anytime there's silence, you're like, just, why? Are you, yeah, no laughing. Oh, we had Polly Shore in too. Ah, oh, yeah, you yeah, just yeah, ruined yeah. it. Sit <laughs> in that chair. So we don't worry. We sprayed it down. All right. All right. <laughs> 
He's uh, he's. But a yeah, there, we were talking about that yesterday. The storytelling uh, comedians versus uh, quick. Yeah, uh, no, nothing against them. I'm jealous. I mean, this, this. I feel like stories connect and resonate with people more than jokes. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as a as a father, I really uh, am in associate with Bert in that way. Yeah. And uh, cause our two oldest daughters are the same age. And then as uh, as a married man, I really like Tom and Christina. So you really kind of, and of course, before Louis got in trouble, I, that's what I think. I think that's what made him was this connection to a uh, kind of a sh- shitty father or a flippant father. You'd say yeah. something. That story yeah. he tells about how he was in Italy and he saw like a bunch of wild ponies. Yes, that's a yes. funny. It's, it's, yeah, it's the it's funniest fun. goddamn it's, story of all time. And you yeah. think I'm the best father. Yes, you can touch it, and then it bites her, and he's like, I'm the worst father. <laughs> like there's this panic that happens. Yeah. Uh, as a as a father, so I, I just am curious because you, you're so great at these zingers and these one liners and these like quick witted thoughts. If you've tried anything, are you? I've tried. I mean, I've done storytelling shows. I did two. This is not happenings. And even before preparing, after, what? Before after Ari. Well, I bought one with Ari, one without. Sure. So I did black and white. And <laughs> I don't have to scrim. And uh, yeah, it was hard preparing for that, just because I had to go to open mics or go to shows or like do the improv. And like the last ten minutes would be the story, and you have to punch it up and find the ending. And if the ending isn't there, the whole thing's ruined. It's got to be a button. Yeah, got to be a button. Got to be a bow on it. So. Yeah. And have you tried it elsewhere? A little bit. I might try them this weekend because I'm so fresh out of material that maybe I'll bring a story out. Nice. But yeah. I, I just assume they. I've they done hate one me. in my life. Uh, about my dad telling me that my grandmother died and then seven hours ago and it was somebody else's grandma. I'm sorry, I mixed ah, it up. He mixed it up and yeah, he, he said that? And I just thought my grandma was dead for like eight hours, like a whole day. Crying and... And then, but the way he did it, he just came in and he goes, I, uh, I got it wrong, so I'm sorry. There was, <laughs> yeah, no, so there was no like, I'm sorry. There was just like, uh, continue on and just fucking tears. Well, it's bittersweet because you're like, well, great, Nana's alive, but also you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. day I was like, I'm gonna kill it. Just yeah. so mad, but um, I... Yeah, that's. I'm just saying, like, I out of it makes you think it was done one story <laughs> right. the whole time. Yeah, and I uh, can't get. Uh, there's nothing interesting that's happened. <laughs> sure, right. Or maybe right. there is, and I just can't. Yeah, I, I, can't I feel find the same a way. Through line or the. I'll uh, do. I opened for Bill Burr once, and he was. We got pretty drunk after. And he's like, "You got to do stories. That's what it's all about. That's the connecting with yeah. the audience." And I was like, "All right, well, maybe I'll, if you say so, I'll do it." But did you see him in King of uh, Staten Island? I haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah, I haven't seen it either. Okay, uh, I, I, won't, I won't spoil it. I heard he's I've great. Heard but yeah, the intro, the introduction of Bill. I didn't know Bill. Was there, was in it, but the opening scene when not the opening scene of the movie, but the first time you see Bill, yeah, is the most Bill Burr scene you've ever seen. It's the most. How do you fig? Uh, well, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It and uh, Ch- Chase or there's Chance too can, many people in this movie. Ch- yeah. Chance can shoot me an email, but essentially, I, I won't spoil it. But right. there's a, a you know, Pete Davidson's a fuck up, and he yeah. experiments with tattooing a little kid, a stranger. Oh, but well, that kid's father comes knocking on his door. And it is the most Bill Burr moment I've ever oh, seen. He's on the tape. father. He's the father. I and it see. is beautiful, beautiful Bill. Like, you, you know those comics that you know are just so legendary and genius. And then you see, you'll see them. You know that. You already know it. But mm-hmm. then you see them do a bit, or you see them in a, a ten second clip in a movie, and you're like, "That's what I'm talking about." Like they're so prolific. And and you're there. Do you know that you're being talked? Everyone we've had come in mm. that that knows you, that's been on the show. I've mentioned a bunch of their names. Uh, we've talked about who are the next prolific, and it's mm. the same three every time. Wow. They never coordinate. They never talk. It's it's Tim Dillon. Who's the it's third? A- Andrew Schultz. Oh yeah. Tim Dillon and Mark Norman. Wow. I'm you, honored. You, Jeez. I mean, I, I know. Good company. I know it's hard to now. It's hard to make that eye contact with them, oh, but yeah, they yeah. but they love you. Like they, wow, they love you. This is all news to me. And Brendan, we had dinner afterwards. I took him to a steakhouse, and uh, we talked about you for 20 minutes. Mark, what? I'm telling you. I'm telling Brian Callen too. Brian Callen said the same thing. You are so Callen. He doesn't well, know my name. Well revered. Wow. You're, you're so is... well revered and so well respected. All right. That's. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll line I'll, them I'll, up. I'll tone it down. I'll tone it all down. Right. <laughs> yeah. Tell Tony, you're making me feel weird. But yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Put but another pair of sunglasses on top. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he pulls out a second pair. Jeez. Oh, Can man. You fucking stop. Thanks. The whole thing's awkward. But no, it's, it's nice to hear because it's a lot of hard work and yada, yada, yada. So it's good that it's paying off. But well, you, uh, you have this material where you kind of sound like you're like you're making it sound like you're, you're struggling, but you're killing. Mm. Like you've got this approach where, uh, and, and I, and, I won't, I'll, I'll do my best to not compliment you because I'm Please. already doing that. But uh, I went back and watched. A comedy is a is a uh, an exercise. It takes time to shape. It takes time yep, to get yep, better at yep. it. You see comedians who aren't as great n- now uh, that end up killing it in a few years. Yeah, I mean, Bill Burr was not as loved as he was. Stage 10 years name, by ago. the way, stage name. 
Oh yeah, what is it? William Burr. Yeah, I, just, I knew that where it's going. <laughs> yeah, uh, joke that everyone Will Sasso. hates. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, sorry. But uh, everybody okay. gets better. That's, yeah, everybody gets better. But, uh, Louis C.K. was he wasn't that great in the '90s. He wasn't that well revered. Yeah, and his you, first you album was in Houston. Stride. Thirty-five That's minutes. Right. Live is it really? It's one of my favorite albums. And he did that act for ten years. He and, said. And he yeah he had a uh, well I guess you'd probably know because you you know. You guys, he jerked off on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> did he ask? No, he had this. He, he, had did. This, he had this story that I love that uh, um, he said he was in a he was doing a Chinese restaurant gig, and uh, heard an interview with Carla on the radio, and he was uh, having a sandwich in the car before he was about to go up, and uh, heard the interview with Carlin, and Carlin said, uh, "If you're ever doing your, if you ever ever one of those comics that's just doing your act, and um, there's no emotional like connection, you've been you doing just, it so you got long? an autopilot." And he goes, just fucking quit, you know, basically. And uh, he started crying in the car. And then he went Jeez. up to the Chinese restaurant and he goes, my kid's a fucking asshole. He just said that. And he goes, I got the most honest laugh I've ever got in my life. Mm. And the honest laugh is, I mean, laughs are laughs. But when yeah. you get it like. Changed him. It, yeah. Well, and the same he, thing he, happened to Mo Pickens, right? That's when the material right? shifted. And he became, yeah. and then he became Louis. Right, right. And that's, like, that's an awesome. shed one. that bullshit. Yeah. You said that you found your stride at, at, at Mo Pickens. Wow. Right? How do you know that? Yeah. That's <laughs> so, insane. Deep, so dark stuff there. You, in New York, you you talked you've talked about it. You I said probably that bombed you, for two years straight, and then I was on stage at this place, Mo Pickens, which is no longer there. Fallon used to be there all the time. It was like a hot, cool spot. Sure. James and, Fallon. Yeah, and uh, stage name. It's actually Jimmy. Fallon. I got heckled immediately, and I just went off on the guy because I was so frustrated from being poor, you know, being yeah. mugged, living in New York, having no respect, no money, whatever. And I just went off on the guy, and that was killing. And I felt like myself for the first time on stage. And after that, it was like a little easier. You what, just found your stride. What year did you in uh, in your life did you move to New York? Like, what age were you when you moved to? I think I was 22, 23, yeah. but I moved there in September of '07. Yeah, and I think Mo Pickens was '09, right? Wasn't it early on? I think uh, uh, what that it closed. No, that you when you said you found your that night that night. You oh yeah, it took yeah, a yeah. while. I mean, it was over a year and a half. Well, I went back and listened to your 2014 special. Uh, still got it, which mm. is kind of funny because it's your first special. That was the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it it was th- the same voice I hear now. It's it's fantastic. It's, well, it's, it's it's all in there. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's, you just grow. You get better and better. I mean, I just I I couldn't be a bigger fan ah i Say wish you were my dad yeah <laughs> i they, wish i had a dad well, <laughs> we told that story on here. <laughs> oh, well that's why you drink but um there's that's why youtube is so great because if you're really obsessed with comedy or or mma or drag racing or drag queens there's a thing for everybody on youtube and yeah some nerd out there did like the evolution of louis ck the evolution of bill burr the evolution of whoever and you can watch them in like 88 Bombing, doing weird sound effects. Crazy, to yeah. Ninety four, where they're getting it a little bit. They're kind of finding their feet, and then you know, two thousand eighteen, and they're like geniuses. So it's kind of fun to watch that. Chappelle, shit. if you I watch uh, Chappelle's uh, JFL, it's uh, it's it it's there. <laughs> but then you don't right, you don't have right. to go like you got to hone it. That's gonna be the the goat. <laughs> yeah, 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 talking yeah. like a ninety one JFL. And then he becomes what? Yeah. And fifteen years later, it's a great guy. And then thirty years later, he's the great. You know, right. Well, it's, it's it's so you don't yeah you don't see the uh, through line. Again. Well, it's the only art form or whatever you want to call it where like if you watch a surgeon get better at being at a surgeon, but you watched every step. You know, surgery. Just like oh, this guy saved me. He's fifty years in as a surgeon. Yeah. He's a pro. But yeah, like yeah. at some point, he was two days in. But you didn't film that. Sure. You know. But we're filming the the beginning shit. Uh, not to make a hard right turn, but this is from 1964. <laughs> uh, I've, uh, I've been, what a transition! <laughs> I've a uh, great what segue. What a transition! That 1964. Uh, this is so. This will be our second to last one, and then I'll get you out of here. And uh, yeah, real piece of history. Oh yeah, that's right. You got a haircut here. Hair looks it. good. Ah, uh, it's killing me. Really? It looks too, that's too like long. It. It's too long. It, it looks it, nice. I, I I put it together, but if it's when I wake up, I look like uh, like an old rabbi. Sure. <laughs> Now what is this? This is uh, 1964, no, I, I yet, but this is from 1964. Stillbrook, pre civil rights. This is a Beatles pre-civil whiskey. Well, yeah, we're fucking... still pre civil rights, there, Mark. Oh, thank you, Chappelle. Didn't know we were on hot ones right now. Mm-hmm. Here we go. There we go. Nice and light. Nothing it's too a crazy. 64. Can 1964. See the yeah, yeah, yeah. They were big into American. You see the big that. stars in the. Yeah, that's this is. 
This what? Well, I have no idea if this is any good, so we're about to find out. I this mean, it's just cool the, to look at. I always think is. of like you know how they advertised back then, how they did that, because like someone had to paint it, someone had to, yeah. someone had to literally do it. Now you just get on a computer and you type, and it's done. And it has to reflect the times. Like you always see these soda evolutions of soda, like yeah, Coke, how yeah, it changes, yeah. the can changes over the years. Yeah. When was Vietnam? Sixty-five through seventy. Yeah, this is the American three? S- distilling company, right? Wow, so bottled so in cool. sixty-four. So right during that time period of so American cool. pride, you mm-hmm. know. Ooh. Might, oh might, my god! Might get back to that scent. Fuck it's my mom. It's insane. Talking? It's Jesus. not that hot, is it? No, it oh, just smelled hot. like the smell. It, like, oh, the smell is. Uh, oh, it stinks. Yeah, like it smells it, burn. Whoo! It's like my ex. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. interesting. Tastes like menthol. Like mouthwash. Oh, not you the best one. This was not my this favorite. This is more medical. Medical. Yeah. Yes. Right? Definitely. Yeah. Distilled Either in Illinois. It feels like it was used to cauterize someone or a doctor went to a study and then had this. Right. It doesn't feel like a... It doesn't, this, this doesn't feel humble. No, this is okay. It's not great. This feels yeah, kind of like it's a... Uh, it's a little chemically. Yeah, feels yeah. like it's kind of... Uh, it's got a feather in the cap. It's too hoity-toity. Hoity toity. I feel like this is uh, like in a jar at a barber shop and they keep the combs in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. This so, is what you give a guy to shoot before you cut his leg off. Oh. You know? Uh, but you're a big fan of Pete and, and that medicinal yeah. notes. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Pete and Scotch? Is it Lafroy? Well, I Lafroy like Lafroy. We drank that on a tour every night and I got like hooked on it where I needed it. But uh, I like a little knob Cree. Oh, yeah. Hold on. That's how you get coronavirus. Did it with my mouth. That was wow. A, yeah. We have an act again. Um, that was a hungover fart. Even the fart was like, I'm out. I don't have the energy. It was a medical shit. fart. It smells like tequila. <laughs> yeah. that, that it's a Vietnam oh, oh, fart right there. We had, we had Sam Hewen on, too, from Stars. I just realized that. Who? That's our biggest our biggest episode. Uh, Sam Hewen, he's from Showtime or Stars. I like it when your Outlander. biggest guy is someone that we're like, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you wouldn't respect him. It's someone that... <laughs> and he's like, he's on Stars. I like oh, that you want with respect. Yeah. You would have to know him. Like, he, you wouldn't respect he's him. So, yeah. He's someone that's very big in a, a female-driven audience. Uh, he's a great guy, really into whiskey. Uh, we're going to Scotland in August. I think he's going to be joining us. Hot guy? But uh, oh, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's this generation's Fabio. He's like very. Oh wow, wow. Chris, oh. Chris, can I just say that's exactly the reaction you deserve for trying to name drop in the middle of a conversation? Yeah, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. Took a mic well, up it, for it that. Just, it just yeah. hit me. A, he's like, I gotta grab a mic. Yeah. He's in it. <laughs> I wasn't trying to name drop, but but uh, he did. but he just but he, he said medicinal it made me think of scotch. It's and then, good. Yeah. Okay. We're on your show. You can do whatever the right. fuck you want, man. All don't right. listen to fuck this don't guy. listen to this guy. Don't listen to us. Yeah, this is not the best one. Yeah, go ahead, dump it. All right. So it's, just, it's just that you know what this is. It's uh, it's just too uh, it's just too potent without. There's no flavor. No flavor. It's just, yeah, it just feels very. Uh, it's like Tabasco, which I love hot sauce, but I don't love Tabasco because Tabasco's it just, the worst fucking. Hot it's just sauce. hot. There's it's no a, flavor. Give me some Louisiana. Give me some uh, what is it? Carl's. I love Carl's. Cholula. Cholula, I love. Frank's. Frank's. Frank's I like. Is good. Frank's is the uh, the go-to. What's uh, uh Tapatio? That's, Tapatio's yeah, solid. Fantastic. There's a great hot sauce here. I always I always try to shout them out. Uh, anytime I'm on a thing, I didn't do it last time, but um there are friends and it's, it's called Bravado. Bravado, yeah, Bravado. They're, they're on hot ones. There's like three yeah, they're on hot oh, ones. Wow. They're like selling out in every like uh uh freaking supermarket you go to like they're in uh based th- in houston yeah. they're in like nordstrom <laughs> now. wow uh high in hot sauce nordstrom three, yeah, yeah they're uh damn next time you come i'll make sure to hit them up and sure every like we had come and take at the festival at Seeger group uh this this pet uh bravado always hooks it up gives every like all the headliners like uh their own like a uh, hot, hot sauce, sauce packet Ooh. but they're it's great they got like good flavors and uh bravado's like yeah i love them they're just, all right they're good awesome. plug that's it love that's a hot sauce not sponsors of the show <laughs> as, he's, as he as he as coyly he coyly smells mm. as he coyly smells. So that's fifteen year old Heaven Hill juice. That's which uh, one was that? Uh, oh, I haven't poured you one yet. You motherfucker! Wait, talking about bravado. This is plastic bottle. Yeah, yeah. So this yeah, is, that is weird. This isn't out yet. So what we did Ooh, is, is neither is I. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, we got our got our hands on some barrels of fifteen year old Heaven Hill juice. We're going to be releasing our own brand. This is your shit. Yeah, yeah. So oh. it's 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 gonna be a it's gonna be a private label to support the show. Holy uh, crap! And, and we literally selected it today, right before Whoa. I picked today? up. Today, right before I picked you up. So that's I love why how I we that. I love why. how we woke up 
<laughs> just yeah. we're like that's our first thing we did today he's like i selected a whole whiskey sure <laughs> and i'm that's, glad you told us it's yours before we trashed it yeah <laughs> that's why i that's why i missed those two exits on the way here uh but, but we we selected it uh it's going to be uh <laughs> that's good stuff it it's teeth it's cast strength it's cast strength yeah wow not, not watered down at all moonshiny so it's very very strong so where'd you where'd you find uh where'd you find these Coats the cup. So we're, we've got to double check on some naming rights on some old, one of the old 1900 bottles. We're going to see if that trademark's available because it's that brand's not around anymore. Oof. And uh, we'll release it and it'll be at cash strength. You, once you acclimate to drinking it like this all day, you don't even, it doesn't, it doesn't. I can't drink like this. You know what a, a freaking douche I feel like doing this? Well, not the glass, but I mean, oh. if you just drinking it neat, you know, oh, without I water, you. without saying, ice, gotcha. without, yeah, yeah. I feel like some ice would really top this off nicely. You, you eventually your mouth gets used to it, and then you're okay. like, "This is great. Why sucks?" Do you drink? Do you drink neat all the time? Do you yeah. drink My ice? Wife like, well, I like ice. I like ice. I like water. Yeah, I like, okay. water in it. I like the cut of the ice. It cuts it a little bit. It it, mm-hmm. it chokes it too, so it helps with the burn. Yeah, so it's, it's real. Uh, There's gotcha. nothing wrong with ice. If you want to add ice to it, no, no shame. Speaking of which, tonight at the Improv. Uh, we'll be there. Hey. I'm, I'm bringing my wife. Yeah, yeah. We're what, coming to the early show. What show? Uh, early show. There's seven. Okay. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yeah, yeah. Do me a favor and quiz her after, because I, <laughs> I'm offending too many people in my act now. Maybe I'm going darker or oh, what? My, wi- my wife's not going to. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife, uh, not a not a former actress. Uh, <laughs> she she and I we ascribe to the belief, and this is I, this is what I think it comes down to, and I and I think you've already had this conversation, or it was Kyle Dunnigan and Rogan, but. Words are about intention. Yeah, we I talked agree. about this yeah, last time. That's what it was. Me and you talked about it. Uh, if you're being silly, you you like to do this thing where you mess up sayings and throw the word queef or yeah. shit or rape or finger anal. bang. Yeah, anal. Jews. Uh, yeah. It, it's a, it, I'm clearly joking. I, yeah, of it, course. If it's not funny, it's not funny. But it, and my wife and I, we be, we are on the same page on every she drinks whiskey. She, she, she drinks more than I do. She drinks it neat. When it comes to comedy shows, mm-hmm. we we... You couldn't get even if you went up there and tried your hardest. We couldn't get not to nah, encourage nah, you to nah. do it. Your but, wife's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. are you upset about? Chris said you're not going to get it. You're yeah. uh, you're a bitch. Right. Uh, no, but the uh, we we I'll ask her, but I don't. Uh, okay, I'm just I don't. See, that's the thing is I don't want to offend. I'm not trying to be some shock jockey guy. I just do what I think is funny, and then people get upset. And it, it's true. It is about the intent. But even if you say like like if I if you go. Uh, Hey, merci beaucoup. And I go, oh, I didn't know you spoke Spanish. And right. people are like, that's French. I'm like, I know, I'm joking. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah. You retard, <laughs> you know? like There's always someone like on your on your Facebook that will, or like for, for me, like doing jokes, that they come out and they tell you the joke on the comments. I'm yeah, like, yeah. That's what the, that's, that's why the joke. I posted Exactly. It. Otherwise, I wouldn't say it. But they don't get the connection. They went right over their head. Yeah. And then they yeah. never cop to it. They never go, oh, I see. They yeah, just go, yeah. oh, you suck, fuck you, whatever. And I hate to beat this to death, but I asked Shab this. You actually still handle all your social media, right? You, yeah, you, unfortunately. Really? Does that eat away it's, at you? It, it eats away. It's so time-consuming. I mean, I spend hours a day doing it, and I want to control it because I'm scared of what some dweeb will do with it. You know, yeah. And also, you want it to be somewhat quality. I'll do it. <laughs> all right, all right, yep. great. You're Indian. Handle my IT. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's uh, it's something that uh, anytime you put yourself out there, especially with your zingers, I would imagine that it's got to eat away at you a bit when someone is just so upset yeah. by something you said. Well, uh, intent is harder to catch over writing, I think. Good Twitter. Ooh, but have you thought about giving up Twitter? I've thought about it many times, many times. Because uh, my friends gave it up. I'm not going to say who, but they're like, life is better. I'm happier. I'm thinking clearer. And I'm like... Damn, maybe I will, but I also get a lot out of it. I get a good zinger, and if it gets a lot of retweets, I'll bring it on stage. Yeah. So it feels I like, like it. It feels like that's... But it is a cesspool of hate. It's a cesspool, man. That For some reason, I don't know what it is about Twitter. I'm finally getting around to smelling your fart. Jesus Oh, God. wow. Just hit, <laughs> yeah, just I, my hit fart me. hit you over Did the you wild turkey. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just hit me this way. Uh, but yeah, like Instagram, it's like a lot of fun. Facebook's old people and religious quotes usually. But something about Twitter, man, it just, they go for the jugular. Well, that's where all the righteousness comes from. That's where all the virtue, I mean, I hate to say virtue signaling, but that's where everyone's getting got. Why right? is it there, though? What do you think there, it is about There Twitter? are jokes that I'll put on Facebook. I'm like, I shouldn't put that on Twitter. 
Yeah, and why though? What is it? It's just a it's, different platform. It's. The, I feel like most people are looking at Twitter. Uh, fa- my Facebook's private. My Instagram's public. Facebook is like it's Facebook. It's my people I know. But Twitter's right. as public uh, as public. Tw- gets. Twitter is right. the most public. Yeah, Twitter's oh, the most. Uh, Twitter's your loudest friend. Right. And you're like shut right. the fuck up, man. All right, that makes sense. You know, Instagram is uh, you know, the photos and look at this shit. It's, w- w- Twitter. Yeah. Where are you? I can not only see when you comment. Even if I'm not following, let's say I'm not following yeah. Tom Segura and you comment on something because I'm following it. you, I see it. That's what it if is. If you like something, even if you don't comment, it shows up in my feed. Oh, I is can, that right? I can see that you liked something wow. because I'm following you. So I think the problem with Twitter is that if someone who hates you sees you comment something or virtue signals and then they can just come in and say, oh, yeah, because that's what happened during yeah. this whole – whatever that girl, that woman was from – uh, one of those Fox shows, she said something about how Black Lives Matter was important, and then an ex coworker that she worked with, who is black, said, "Oh yeah, well then it's funny because ten years ago when I was on the set of Glee, you said you wanted to shit my wig." Or That's something. crazy. I didn't know they hired black people on Glee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so oh, yeah. There was just this moment where, and then everyone just consumed yeah, her. They, they just consumed her. But so. also making fun of someone on Glee has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. You know, they don't even connect. No, I, I, what it what it was is that it, you're trying to virtue signal and let your followers know that you support Black Lives yeah, Matter. But, it's all but when we worked together, I was black and you yeah. talked about shitting in my wig, which is oh, okay. was perceived as racist. So I know, but that could be not racist. I, I, I agree. Shit in a white man's wig. Does that mean I, you know? Uh, but a couple years on. So white man wig. They got to be like an old, uh, like a court justice. Yeah, that's know? true. Right, that or a politician. Yeah. Well, you guys wigs. are. I know we're we pretty much run out of time. I know you guys are going uh, tonight, Houston Improv, two shows. You're doing Sunday too. Oh yeah, yeah. God's hole. Impro- <laughs> improvtx.com slash Houston and uh, Zahed. You got any dates coming up? Uh, this is it for now. I do have some dates coming up. Just go to. Uh, uh, I hate to say like go to the website. No one go to the website. website. See your website. Uh, What's wrong with that? It's just my full name. My oh, no one has full my name. It's Zahed Devji. No one has my shitty name. No one wants it. Zahed Devji. Good, good luck with that one on good. Google. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna autofill that way. <laughs> Why is everything in a Islamic? Xanax, <laughs> Delta. By the way, we're we not going to address this phallic oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. we never silver <laughs> dong we here. Okay, we'll, we'll have one more. We'll have one more. The, my only problem is when That's I took right. it off, the, the cork dissolved, it's, and I didn't want to yeah. give you a it's cup. It's the fucking weirdest one. I know. Oh, I'm glad you. Yes, <laughs> this, this should be the uh, the gay porn award. Like if you get uh, like an <laughs> it's, it's, like an AVN. It's like, it's like an uh, Emmy. Wait, yeah, guy, it's uh, a 12 year old Ezra Brooks, but the cork what's dissolved. He, what is he doing on the? He's he's loving that big hog. <laughs> <laughs> He's even sitting on a pile of jizzy balls. <laughs> what is Look this at that. bottle? We can't use this one for. You got to remember that. You got to remember someone drew this, and then it had to go through a board of approval. And, and then like, someone had to give some great. examples. Or yeah. like that one. Th- are you trying to pull a Little Mermaid and slip something in here? What's What's happening here? So, all right, I'll give you one more pour. All it right. may have some pulp in it, so you just have to work all out right. the cork. Yeah, some cork pulp. Some cork pulp. But uh, this is from, I believe it said 1970. Whoa, I got it's dark. most of it out. It's dark, and it is not strong, so this should not. It's not. It should not knock you off your. Yeah, back then, uh, nobody this would. It's one. ninety proof, and it's from nineteen seventy. Nobody would buy bourbon. It was such a slow mover, so they had to. In put the seventies. Seventies, eighties, early nineties. So what uh-huh. they would do is they made decanters out of everything because it was collectible now. So people would collect it instead of drinking it. Ah. Same same end result. We have sales. You bought it. Huh. But essentially, you had. Uh, but they bought it for the bottle, not for the. Not the for the juice inside. inside. Yeah, and now when you it's can comics find, right now when you can find <laughs> <laughs> when you can find these things uh, at auction or whatever they're, they're they're fantastic little piece of history. 1970, 50 years ago. Cool. So, um, Very cool looking. 80s, bottle. Uh, I don't know if I poured myself. What's Ezra Brooks. Ezra Brooks, twelve year old. Gotcha. E twelve year old, not of age. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Not going to do all it. Right, not all right. Do it. All right. Keep moving. I mean, I don't care. You can do it. <laughs> but. Um, yeah. Oh. Is this considered good stuff or are we just <laughs> oh, enjoying the right. bottle? This is uh this is considered good stuff, although Oof. I haven't tasted it, so let me give you a first hand opinion. That was a opinion. That was a that was a rough smell. I like it. Oh yeah, that's an easy drinker and it's cut down to 90 proof. You can drink the hell out of that all day. You can knock that back. That's pretty yeah, that's pretty easy. Yeah, pretty easy drinking. Some oh. might say smooth, but that's a bad word. This honestly, I want the ice. Yeah, this, this could one, use a cube. The, yeah, one of those big fat, you know. You no, know, I love those squares. circle. I love that. I love that. Uh, I love those. Uh, cir- yeah, those. Uh, it's a big one. Yeah, the sphere. big balls. Uh, yeah, that's good. Two questions, and we can go. Mm. When's your next? Are you going to do another special? 
I love well, this I mean, one. I watched this one. It was great. Are we are we talking a year from now? Yeah, give me two years. You know, two years? some people force them out and they uh, they're not they're half baked. And we are like, if you give them that six more months, that'd be a full preemie. It'd be a better one. Yeah, yeah. I really I love I love Bert. Uh, I liked his last one, Secret Time, better than this one. I felt like. Oh really? Uh, yeah. But that I, Starbucks bit was. Oh, it was fantastic. Killer. Yeah, yeah that, that, Keep that was about this. You got to watch it. It's like a it. ten minute bit about Starbucks and it's about him killer. bonding with a young kid that's a fan. Oh, wow. of his, So he would go in every day. And his Starbucks bit was great. Tom Segura's special was off the charts, fantastic, and uh, I still enjoyed Chappelle's. I'm waiting on one yeah. from a uh, list. It's. I watched it. I saw him come to Seager Group and get a, and it, it was killer. It's great. The, the, it's great. The hour with Joe, Joe List. Joe List. Joe is List. Killer. Yeah, Tuesdays killer with hour. Stories. Definitely check out the podcast that Mark Norman and Joe List are on. <laughs> here, here. Tuesday with Stories. Uh, thank you for coming, guys. Yeah. Appreciate thanks, it so man. much. Comedy. Cheers. Balcony's first ever year-round bourbon was an inspiration. It all had to work together. A blend of carefully selected ingredients, Texas-sized pot stills, and creative people determined to find the absolute best way to usher a new whiskey along. When you discover how it pairs with a meaningful moment, suddenly the feeling of drinking great whiskey becomes a whole lot more.